I just got done editing this video from Royal Caribbean Oasis of the Sea. These with my tips and tricks that I experienced while I was on there. But uh, while I was editing, there was a couple things that I wanted to make sure that I had mentioned to y'all. One was don't overpack. We uh, learned the hard lesson that we brought way too much stuff. And what it does is it hurts you when you go on these port calls and you want to buy things. And you're going to run out of space because you're going to fill up your bag. And then you only get two bags when you travel out of your airport or whatever. So make sure to leave room. Don't overpack because that's what we did. We didn't use half the things. is the lost and found on the ship guest services on deck five keep that in mind uh, what else um, bring in a bathing suit with you on the first day because if you have any young ones or kids with you um, there's a long line to ride all those water slides and all those different water type activities so if you go on the first day that's when everybody's busy doing uh, a lot of check-in things etc because they're arriving to the ship a little bit late if you go early you can knock everything out and you can get up to the pool area there won't be any lines the kids can get as many slides and everything else that they want because it will be operating and knock that out of the way with the kids that way if there's long lines during the cruise during like the sea days you don't have to worry about them standing in lines for hours and complaining and being impatient and everything else those are the few tips that i wanted to make sure that i inputted into this video and then now i'll cut to to really gain exposure and potentially use this video as a catalyst to go on more cruises and do more videos on cruise ships as well. So maybe Carnival, maybe uh, Royal Caribbean, maybe Norwegian, etc. sees this video and then go ahead and contact me and say, hey, go ahead and do a video on our ship too. So that might help this. So don't forget to hit the like button. Now let me cut to the video. Thanks again for watching. Peace guys. All right, so pulls over right now. We're actually in line to play bingo. And another tip on that is check your compass, which is like the little sheet of paper that they give you in your room before the day, because there is like a bonus added jackpot entry ticket that you get if you do play bingo, that you want to bring that piece of paper with you, just in case. A little added extra, you never hurts anybody, and maybe you'll win. Good luck. All right, guys, so if you got the drink package, whether it be all you can drink alcohol or the soda package, which is also a qualifier for these specialty cups, when you check in and um, first get onto the ship, usually they'll be in your staterooms. But just in case, if they're not there, all you have to do is go to any bar or any um, basically restaurant that serves soft drinks and tell them you have the soda package and they'll go ahead and give you one brand new that has shrink wrap and everything. And then what you'll do is on the cruise ships, you see that behind me, you'll look for those throughout. And then the places, they have a little chip on the bottom and then that way they can tell that it's one of those that's registered to Royal Caribbean. But you go ahead and put those in the machine. You're good to go throughout the whole trip as far as soft drinks or if you brought in or somehow got some whiskey or some sort of alcohol, you fill this with your Coca-Cola, dump in your alcohol, and then you're good to go. That's a good tip or trick, I think. All right, y'all, so I'm on poolside. It is day three, which is a sailing day. We don't have a port call. Here's a tip and trick, a couple actually. If you're gonna wanna lay down by the pool, there's a couple pool areas. All right, what's gonna happen is everybody and their brother is gonna wanna sit by the pool. So in the morning time, before you go to breakfast, Try to establish a spot uh, with your, um, like some sort of towels or shirts or whatever on a chair. That way you kind of designate a good spot and you have it earmarked. Um, most people aren't um, like taking off the towels or shirts, they're kind of honoring the system. So go ahead, find a good spot, get it established. That way you go to breakfast, come back, etc. And you have a cherry picked, really good uh, tanning location or whatever to enjoy the pool. Um, here's another one is I got a bottle of champagne. So every stateroom, when you check in, you get two bottles of wine that you can bring into your room per stateroom. So you can check that into your luggage, obviously secure it, package it really well so it doesn't break in transit. But you can bring two bottles of wine into your room. That's about it for now. I'm sure I'll cut in and edit some more tips and tricks along the way.
Deck 5 kind of has a feel like you've been to Vegas off Fremont Street where the ceiling is all lit up. There's your Starbucks. Okay, so at every elevator, there's gonna be kind of a cheat sheet map, and it'll always show you what floor you're on and where you're at. And then it gives you on each floor what you can find there. So I'll kind of go down and so you can read it in preparation for y'all's trip. Kind of going slow, just so you can kind of get it. And I already mentioned earlier, remember, Studio 54. Because five and four is where most of the things are. If you're a gambler, the casino's on four. There you go. So you can find that at every elevator, just for y'all's use. Okay, so we just finished off at Chops. Uh, in regards to steak, if you have a choice between the 16 ounce sirloin or the filet, I recommend getting the filet. I tried both and the filet was just amazing. Melts in your mouth, you could cut it with a butter knife. So definitely recommend the filet over the 16 ounce. The lamb looked really good, I didn't get to try it, but that looked really good also. Chops grill. I try to pan down. There's your appetizer choices. There's your soup and salad choices. Signature mains. And I'd like to mention that you should check the app on your phone, the Royal Caribbean app, because there is some options there listed that aren't mentioned here. So you'll have that knowledge when you do check in and order your food at the restaurant. Let's try it out. So if y'all book any excursion, on the Royal Caribbean when your first day when you check into your room you'll see like kind of like a welcome packet with an envelope that has all of your tickets that basically cover all of your excursions throughout the whole trip that you had booked and it'll be in a nice envelope and obviously this one says where we're going and what exactly we paid for and you make sure you bring these obviously with you with your passport ID and your ship's pass to get off the ship I don't know if any of y'all are a fan of artwork, but I'm going back to the casino and I'm gonna take this route. It's the Park West route and there's some really cool artwork. Personally, I'm a fan of art, so that's why I wanted to show y'all in case some of y'all watching are fans of art. You'll start seeing them on the wall in just a second. This is a little side entrance to get to. Try to walk slower, but that might get yelled at. Yeah, you just like either tell us like we don't have more of these, or anyway, like before the video, isn't that cool? Look at these pieces, so awesome. In the elevators, you'll always know what day it is because. They switch the name plates. Ooh, cool. So I know it's Wednesday. And then it'll flip at midnight on Thursday. So here's another tip and trick while you're on the boat. Remember where this car is at? It's on the fifth floor, but it's also a landmark because if you look directly to the left, there's like a secret 
the Casino Royale steps. So you don't have to go on all the way to the elevators. You can just walk down those steps for easy access right next to the car. So keep that in mind. All right, y'all, so if you're on the casino, there's some random machines that we played, but this one is really fun. It's like a beer house one, and um, I'm only betting 75 cents. He was betting a dollar, and look at this. He's up to 600, almost 700 dollars. And he was betting a dollar a spin. So if you happen to come on this one, the second machine might be lucky for you if you bet a dollar. He did pretty damn good. I don't even know what he's gonna get up to, but he's almost to the end, with 700. Out. I was betting a dollar on this Sky Dragons machine and it just hit for $485. Not too bad. Alright, so here's another tip or trick. If you're trying to get dressed up and have like, photos done in random places at the casino or on board the ship, like this is on the 8th deck right where all the restaurants are. Pretty nice backdrop with all the flowers and everything. Uh, I recommend doing this before you eat because the line was really short and now we got done eating and there's you know, a lot of people waiting and um, we've been in line for about 30 minutes. So uh, do the picture before you go eat, knock it out of the way, then go to eat and then you'll be done with all your photo situations. In case y'all were wondering, this is deck 15, solarium, forward. It's kind of like a private area with an amazing view. A lot of people don't know that you can come out here if the pool is busy and you can't find any chairs, come up to the solarium and you won't get, the, I mean, the pool splashing effect, but you'll at least be able to lay out, get some sun and enjoy the views. Oh yeah. Music, man, just give me some music. If you want Starbucks, there's your Starbucks fix. It's on deck five, forward. This is all your salsa music will be. Hidden down, there's a club. If y'all like to dance really late, that's called Blade. down there on the floor. All right, so throughout the ship, these are kind of fun. You'll see these guys everywhere. I don't know how many, but there must be like maybe 100 or 200 of these. And they're called Small Wonders. And each one, it's kind of like a scavenger hunt for you or your kids. Let's see if I can show it. It's like a random picture. I think this one's of an owl. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's in there. And you find these throughout the ship and it gives your kids or yourself something to do uh, as a pit stop. So here's another tip and trick. If you want to have fun with your door, do it. All right, so here's another tip and trick for coming on the cruise ship. Go, I got these at Lowe's, but if you want to, maybe find a set of four of these, uh, maybe on Amazon, eBay, or whatever, but because they're not cheap. Uh, for a pair of them, it was like 40 bucks, so we got like 80 and uh, all in and paired them together. But these are little walkie talkies, clip on the side because you're not going to be able to have reception on your cell phones and be in touch with anybody that's in your party. So if you give one to each kid and you know every family member has one, they can kind of run around and do their own thing, and you always have a ways and means of getting in touch with them. And it's kind of fun too, you give each other like your own call signs. 
So for me, obviously, I use Bartermania, and then there was others that like Jitterbug because she likes dancing, and Candy Kiss for chocolate, whatever. So kind of fun thing to have on the cruise ship. Plus, it has a very servable purpose and it has good functionality. <laughs> okay, so if you're gambling in the casino, make sure you play with your card. Your tap, uh, and make sure it registers, and you're racking up points. And as long as you hit the 800 threshold. You get it's an interior, so you can always upgrade for like three or four hundred dollars to an exterior balcony. But here is your threshold, so make sure you play your card. All right, so level five. I'm gonna show you all the sneak attack side steps to get down to the casino. You can take level four and walk straight in, right past, uh, there's a, a gallery, an art gallery, and then um, another theater where they do the ice skating, I believe, yeah. But I like to go down this way because it's just more scenic, kind of makes you feel like, what, Old Town, Fremont, Las Vegas. Cool vibe. There's a Sorrento's, if you're a pizza fan, that's where you go for all your pizza, all you can eat. No cost, it's all part of the cruise. Pretty cool car. So here's your landmark. Remember that car, okay? I can't guarantee it'll be there when your cruise happens, but if, the, if it's there, that car is your landmark for this sneak attack staircase. It's still open, guys. I still slip over here. We got the table games. Roulette. I guess they just closed that down. We got three part, three card poker. Let it ride. Blackjack. I think the lowest minimum is ten dollars on blackjack. I'm showing you all the table games right now. Here's your craps if you're a craps player. Ultimate Texas Hold'em. Three card poker again. There's the roulette wheel open on this side. trying to go slower because I know if I go too fast it's a little uh, gives you a little headache if I go too fast so I try to be smaller on this. Another roulette wheel. Here's your bar in the middle of the casino. Now, I made a lot of money, guys. I'm a poker player. They usually have two tables, but it's only one open right now. There's your poker table. They do have a tournament that goes on every um, ship's day. So uh, it's a sail day. Every uh, third and seventh day was a ship's day. I'm gonna show you all this later on. But here's how you can get a free cruise, and I'll be talking that during the video. Here's our casino host. <laughs> Say hello to YouTube. Hi, hi YouTube. Uh, I'm famous now. <laughs> Thank you. Here's some of the machines. I'm just going to scan around. There's your video poker. I'm going to show you all, too, which ones have been really hot that really paid off during this session. Because we had a, a group that was gambling. And um, these machines, the little red devil, I guess what they're called, they um, kind of sucked us dry. So I don't recommend this one. The only one I do recommend is this machine over here. Where she's sitting, that machine right there was really hot as far as paying out. So if you have a choice, you choose that one where she's sitting right there. Uh, what other slots can I tell you? Um, it's on the other side. I'm just kind of giving you a bird's eye view of what you can expect as far as slot machines. There's your cashier. So if you have printed tickets from the slots, you can go there and cash out. 
um, they had a lot of the machines that were kind of broken down, so we had to go there to cash out. Do not fall sucker to these machines. They just take your money. They don't ever pay it out. I mean, the whole casino trip, there was what, two winners? Yeah, good luck with that. Kind of a cool chandelier. Didn't really have any luck on any of these machines, but over here, I'm gonna show you which ones. If you like to play slots, I highly recommend I have one of these that I hit for like $400, a couple others that hit for a few hundred, and there was one machine that paid out a couple people like over a thousand dollars. Okay, so this machine, I put in a hundred dollar bill and I cashed out for 400 personally on that one. Then you go over here. These are extremely fun. It's like a beer garden. They make a lot of noise and they start singing to you. It's not making any noise now, but you see the second machine? Not the one that just went up, but uh, that one right there. He's, that gentleman's playing. That machine was the hottest machine in the whole casino. I saw two people win over a thousand dollars on that machine alone. Over here, these cups, I, I don't know how to explain it, but you have a row of them, and this one right here at the very end, that machine was really hot. And I'm just kind of showing you random machines. Um, none of them that I can really tell you that paid out really well, except for the ones that I just mentioned. Um, I had some decent luck on these. Treasure ball on the left. The left one played pretty good. music hall currently it's called the humans live cover band basically I'll show you tip or trick see the magnet sticks on the thing if you don't want to be disturbed uh, with room service put it on the outside and I'll show you here all the doors are magnetic so you just slip that on boom I'm sleeping don't bother knocking boom we're out you can go ahead and clean our room if you let them know you don't have to worry about someone knocking when you don't want them to knock so you'll see all this luggage out in the hallways this is the night before we arrive back to Miami and they start loading up around 10 p.m. All your luggage that will go down, go through customs and everything else. And then you pick it up and then your departure time is based upon what you uh, gave them as far as if you had any flights or special needs to get off early, etc. And then they schedule these little tags that hang off of your luggage You'll see like little numbers there and they leave those whoever's in charge of your room will leave those in your room and they ask for basically have everything out in the hallway around 10 10 30 while you're down and having dinner and gambling or whatever so this Irish bar global access or rope of atlas Every time you go in, they yell at you and say, hey! I don't know where they're at though.
dining area. I highly recommend, if you have a choice between going to the main dining area or going to the solarium or the windjammer to eat at dinner time, always choose the main dining area. You have plenty of really good options. You can get multiples of it if you want. You, you don't have to just get one dish. You can get a couple dishes for the entree, a couple on, uh, appetizers, and the desserts obviously are really good. And you get served there. The staff's very friendly and they do a really good job. All right, I ended up getting another dessert. This is the chocolate cake with mousse and a side of ice cream. Looks pretty good, let's see how it tastes. Okay, y'all, I specially asked for this menu so you can get an idea of what we had available to us here in the main dining area. And here's your starters. A Greek salad, a salmon, pork tacos, roasted tomato soup, Onion soup Caesar, shrimp cocktail, escargot, garden salad, artesian cheese plate. Here's your main courses. Tiger shrimp, cordon bleu, steak Diane, roasted rack of lamb, and I apologize, tagliatelle maybe? Herb crusted salmon, rusted chicken breast, New York strip steak, spaghetti bolognese. Desserts, you got a tiramisu, a tres leches, cherries jubilee, Creme brulee, apple a la mode, royal cheesecake, royal chocolate cake, fruit medley, and ice cream. Now, if you wanted to do an upcharge, you could also do a whole main lobster, a filet mignon, or a surf and turf, which is a filet plus lobster tail for a little bit of upcharge. Now, there is a trick. You, um, you think that you can only get like one appetizer, but no, here in the main dining, if you want to, you could say, for example, I would like to try the onion soup and the shrimp cocktail. And I, I ended up doing that, I got both. And then on the main entrees, let's say you're debating between two. Well, you don't have to pick just one. I chose the tiger shrimp and I chose the rack of lamb. I got both. So. You do get to choose more than just one option here, which is a beautiful thing. Now, obviously for the upcharge ones, you wouldn't do that. Uh, they do offer a coffee or espresso. And here's uh, the dessert options. I don't know what I got here. Oh, I can't remember what that is. That's the cherries jubilee. Yeah, and it's got cherries, a fruit, and nice fruit. Oh, I, I got the, this is the tiramisu. So that's what I got from mine, is the tiramisu. Now, if I don't like it, I'll order the tres leches instead. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so here's one of the entrees. This is the tiger shrimp. And then your sour cream and your peppercorn sauce. One of the things. And this is the surf and turf, which is a six ounce filet, lobster, baked potato, and uh, grilled vegetables with the sides of butter and uh, that's what we got. Making drinks. This is the future of the bar industry. What do y'all think? Not every day you see something like that happening. Here's another example of people decorating their room with the metallic hooks and hanging signs. Here's another tip or trick for your cruise. Feel free to decorate y'all's door for any special occasion, birthday, anniversary, surprise, you name it. 
And there's been some really fun. Let's see if I can find any more. For examples. Like people go crazy on these. In actuality, if you go to like the dollar store, you can find like the magnetic hooks for like a whole pack for like a dollar. We have Dollar Tree where I'm at, but maybe there's a different dollar store you're at. And all the doors here in the uh, ship are magnetic. So you can go ahead and put those hooks on and then go ahead and hang whatever you want. But here you go, people put their anniversary. Not bad, a 20 year anniversary, their poster up. And it, various other signs that you'll see. And then also, you see how there's the magnetic signs? So if you don't want to be disturbed by room service, you go ahead and slap that magnet on the outside of your door. And on the flip side of it, it says, hey, we're out catching some rays. You can go ahead and clean this, the room because they'll know that you're out. So, something to keep your eyes out for. Yeah, see, here we go. Here's the, the magnet hooks I was telling you about. So you can hang whatever type of sign you want on your door. So that is the solarium. And then when you're eating, you have the view outside at the front of the ship. And this is all on 15 forward. So solarium 15 forward in the mornings, guys. And don't forget, it's a busy pool day. There is the capability of coming up here and being on those loungers and seeing your sun up. So I'm here at the solarium and I was gonna let y'all see a bird's eye of what you can maybe expect if you come on this cruise ship. Smoked salmon, some deli meats, some cheeses, some garnishes. Here's your bacon, corned beef hash, sausage, there's some beans, some tomatoes, hard boiled eggs. These hash browns, I love these hash browns. They were really good. Some beans back there, some cold cut, looks like turkey right now. Here you go with some French toast, banana cake, pancakes, waffles, scrambled eggs. They were really good. The scrambled eggs were good. Here's some pre-cooked um, omelets, cheese omelets. Here we go. Scone berry, blueberry tart, cream puffs, lemon pound cake. Here's some toppings for your pancakes. Oatmeal, fresh fruit. I was eating the heck out of kiwi. They don't have any kiwis today. Here's some cereal. Sure, milk, chocolate milk, always good. Here's some desserts. It's, I don't know what Muesli is. Blueberry parfait, strawberry parfait. For those that like the muffins and the danishes, here you go. Bran muffin. There's a raspberry, like. And then these apple fritters, the apple danishes, those are like soft and flaky. Those are really good. Let me see, I think there might be something on the other side. I'll show you real quick. Oh, that's right. Here's Will's favorite station. That rice section. Yeah. Mashed potatoes, rice, barbecue vegetable beans, and some turkey parmesan. And then here's all your juices, coffee, etc. I didn't like the strawberry kiwi. It was kind of watered down. The orange juice and the apple juice are pretty good though. Hot water to make your teas, hot chocolate, etc. And if you like tea, uh, there is lemon that you would have to just get an acid for. Usually they set it out though. I almost forgot to mention, if you watched this far, thanks again, it really means a lot. Uh, I'm sure you already hit the like button because I'm sure you already learned some tips to bring on with your cruise. But I also, on the port calls that we went to on Oasis of the Seas, I went to St. Thomas, I went to Nassau, Bahamas, I went to San Juan, Puerto Rico, and I went to the private island in Labadee, Haiti. And I'll put a link down below where you could see my actual experience and kind of tips and tricks at those port calls that I did and kind of get a bird's eye view of what I went through and what I saw, and what to expect, etc. So go ahead and hit those if you'd like. Thanks again for watching. Take care guys, peace.